Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and I am back with another tutorial. For this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to mine Scala on a mobile device, or short form XYA, I believe it is. And this is a coin I came across uh, for mobile mining. It's kind of like Varus coin, where it's just like CPU and mobile only. So it's really good advantage in that way. You don't have to compete against GPUs or anything else, obviously. But as we see here, you might be wondering what this whole contraption is. Well, obviously, if you notice, I haven't been uploading lately. That is just due uh, because I've been mining with the phone I usually record with, which is down there. I uh, usually record with my Android, but I'm using my iPhone this time. And I really didn't have much to kind of like record or make videos on. So I was just kind of testing this mobile mining here with this new coin and everything. So I figured just to make a video on it. But as we see here, like I said, this contraption I have rigged up here, it is a mobile mining box. So as you see here, I just got a big cardboard box and then I cut it down. So it's all just a rectangular shape. And then I cut holes on each side for fans. So this fan is an intake. So it's pulling cool air in. And then on the other side here, I have a uh, fan that's venting out. So it's pulling all of, like the warm air and just kind of keeping the airflow going. But as we see here, I just kind of have the box set up. I have a little window cut out with a plastic sheet. So I can just kind of peek in there quickly just to see, but I'll open it up for you guys. As you see, this is a Scala miner right up top here. I have it running on a couple of the phones. Uh, my tablet's doing various down there because I still obviously want to collect and run that. But as we see here, it's all up and running. It has its own interface. It has a temperature and everything. And this is, like I said, my whole contraption. I have a metal frame in there. I know it's kind of hard to see. I have a metal frame in there and then I kind of have the phone sitting in there. So the airflow is coming in from there, blowing across and just going out that way. And it keeps it very, very cool. As we see here, I can kind of move this one pull strap. My one phone, the battery is at 24 degrees and this other phone is a little warmer. It just depends on the phone itself. But yeah, as we see here, I have like, I just came up with this idea one day and figured to put it to use and it ended up working very well. So if you are looking for something to set up for your mobile miners to keep them very cool around that 20 to 30 degree mark or depending on the phone and stuff. But as you see here, it's just a rectangular box with some PC fans. And then I have my extension cable running into there just to pull for all the power and everything. But yeah, so, I'll be showing you guys how to get the Scala miner all set up and the wallet itself so you guys can go ahead and get this going for yourselves as well here. I will be showing you uh, on the computer like what to download and everything but then afterwards I'll pull up my tablet there just so we have a nice big screen and I can show you exactly on the mobile device how to get it all set up and running and your interface will be looking just like this and then you'll be able to go ahead and mine as we see here XLA that's like what the short form for it is it's a privacy coin based off monero but we'll take a look at the website and all of that quickly here all right so now we're over on the pc and as we see here we're on the scala project.io website and this is their main website for all the information based around their cryptocurrency project and as we see here we'll take a quick look it's for mobile so mine scala on your pc and android smart devices so not for iphone not very much miners are for iphone or apple products it's a sensitive blockchain data is stored in a p2p network so peer-to-peer -peer network it's fully anonymous balances and transactions are invisible to others so just like monero or xmr like same thing it's all anonymous and everything is invisible to other people so it's good for if you want privacy and if you want to mine on mobile devices or even your cpu which i am also mining on my cpu i can make a tutorial for the cpu mining as well if you guys want just let me know in the comments but as you scroll down here, as we see, it's optimized for CPU and ARM architectures, which is for um, Android devices. And it has its own algorithm, Panthera, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's a hybrid algorithm combining Random X, Kangaroo 12, and Yes Power. So it's a combination of all the high efficiency CPU and mobile algorithms that you can mine. And we develop a machine learning algorithm called AMAYC as much as you can, which prevents your mobile CPU and battery from overheating. And if we scroll down here, it has more information about the nodes and the POW solution and stuff. And it's powered by the CryptoNote protocol. And there's more information if you want to uh, look more into it. It's fast, secure, resilient, and affordable. And here's their wallet and everything, but we'll be looking into that. So if we go up top here, you can go to the menu and then you can open up Scala Vault 
and then you can open up the mobile miner and that should open up two more tabs here and right here is the scala wallet so you want to download this on your android device it doesn't have to be the one you're mining on so if you have the, your own standalone android device just load a wallet onto there and use that but if you want to use it on the device you are mining go ahead and download it so whatever device go ahead and download the scala vault which is their wallet here and then they also have their mobile miner, which I was showing you here. So as you see here, you can just download the APK right on your device. It's right from a GitHub. So if we go here first, you click Play Store or you can download it from GitHub. So if you're directly on your mobile device right now, you can click download APK for the miner and it should start automatically downloading. And same with the wallet here, you click Play Store and it should bring you to the Play Store and start automatically downloading. Now for a pool, they give you pool options right on the mobile miner, but I just wanted to show you guys the pool itself here. This is the one I use. It's only 50 scale up payout, which is not very much. It doesn't take much to accumulate this. It's, a, it's not very high like price or anything right now. So if you come over here, you can click getting started and you can it shows you how to set it all up if you want to do it manually. But if you are using a scale up miner, you are able just to go ahead and select it right from the list of pools. But if you go to worker statistics, you can search up your miner here. I already have mine. As you see, I have a few devices, my CPU rig, my Motorola, and my Samsung phone right now. I had an LG and a few others that I've been testing. But as you see, I've accumulated 1,543. I just started the CPU miner like maybe a couple days ago. The phones have been going for a little bit. So I haven't accumulated much, but it's still something. I just want to build it up in case it pops off. But yeah, this is just the pool I use. So I just figured to show you guys on the computer here. Instead of trying to show everything on my tablet, I just figured to go every go over everything on my computer here, just so you guys can get a better view of it and you know what you are downloading and going after and everything like that. So the pool is pool.scalaproject.io. So that's the one I've been using. They also have Hero Miner Pool there's not too many pools i believe it is a newer coin so it hasn't been around as long so there is still potential for it to grow and be added to more pools and to be added to more exchanges it's not very out there and well known so i figured just to make a video on it so we can all maybe accumulate something you never know it could pop off or something but i just figured it's a good alternative to varus hash also and if you are using like maybe a phone that can't mine varus hash or using aa miner this is another good alternative to that it is somewhat profitable with mobile devices again just depends on your mobile device same with cpus but now i will jump over to my tablet and i will just show you guys setting this all up on the actual tablet and getting the miner up and running again i just wanted to show you guys all this all right so i'm on my tablet over here and i'm on the scala project website as we see here so what we're going to do just like i showed you go to menu here and then you want to go to scala vault first so you can download the actual wallet and you click play store you're gonna let that open up and then you're gonna install it so just up top here install and then you're just gonna let it install and set up here and in the meantime you can go ahead and download the miner as well so we'll just go to the menu here and then you're gonna go to the mobile miner that should bring you down to here and you click download APK and it should pop up just like this and I've already have it downloaded but I'll download again just to show you guys here and it should pop up up top here we'll just let her download so I'm also downloading the wallet at the same time here not too strong of a tablet my tablet can't even really mind this so as it says file downloaded, you just click open. And then you can go ahead and install the Scala miner. Just don't run it right away. So just click install. And we'll let it install so that way we just have everything set up and ready to go. I found this is a pretty good project and pretty good like algorithm for mobile and CPU. I've been testing it for a few weeks now. Just got the CPU up like a few days ago though. So once that's done, you just click done. And we'll go check to see. And as you see, we have the vault and the miner. So what we're gonna do is open up the vault first. And this is a wallet, so it sets up just like any other wallet. So all you do is click create new wallet or import from seed. So we'll click create new wallet. 
and it should come up with like the keys and everything. Just click allow. You can set up a wallet name and everything. It just has to connect to a remote node. It may take a minute to do this here, but we'll just let it load up here. Just don't touch nothing while it's connecting to the remote node. Depending on your internet and your device, it might take a good minute or two. So you can make a wallet name if you want. I'll just quickly put my YouTube here, Crypto. You Crypto. You don't have to put a password and then you just click okay. And then there it goes. You'll have your public address and then your seed and all that stuff there and you should be good to go. You click I've noted the seed and then you should be brought to your main screen and everything. Your public address is right there if you just wanna copy it from here, which is what we'll do, we'll click copy. And then what you wanna do is open up the scale of miner. And once this loads up, you're gonna click enter your wallet address and the wallet address you copied there, you're just gonna paste up here so as we see here and then you just lower the keyboard and then you're going to click next and then here's where you choose your pool you can use hero miners if you want but they're about 100 scale of payout which isn't much really but if you want one that's a little bit lower use a scale of project and that way you're just spreading the hash rate because as you see uh it just depends on like the miners and how much hash rate spreads evenly so that's the one i showed you guys on the computer there so then you're just going to click next then right here you can set everything so you can set the amount of cores usually i crank it right up to the full amount of cores or seven or eight cores depending on your device battery temperature and all that just depends on what you want to set and what you feel comfortable with and then you can set it in degrees or fahrenheit and then you click i am ready and it should bring you to the main screen here and what i usually do is click settings here because this will make the phone like not lag and cause any issue what you want to do is click on the settings down there you scroll down to advance and then as you see it says keep screen on when mining and you want to turn that on so just like that and then click save at the bottom so that way everything just stays on so you can monitor it in case you're uncomfortable with the temperature or anything and then what you want to do is click the home and all you want to do is click start and then the miner should start up just fine like i said it doesn't work uh, on mine unfortunately i guess this tablet's too old or just not the right architecture like it's not arm device or something like that i don't know exactly but i haven't been able to get it working but all you do is click start and then you can let it calculate so i'll kind of show you it'll come up with a warning just because mine doesn't have a sensor for the cpu so you click ok and it'll start up just like that but as you see mine will error out it'll tell me that but normally it'll just fill up to 100% and then you'll see the bar start going just like at the beginning of my video with all my other rigs you've seen it all going all the temperature and everything and it'll show you the shares accepted your current payout and all of that so I'm just going to stop that for now because I don't need to and then yeah once it's up and running it'll look just like mine over here so we'll quickly go back so once you are up and running it will look just like that there it'll have the hash rate and then have all the information down there I'll have like your payout and all that so it should just be as simple as that and you should be up and going right after that after no issue well yeah that's where i'm pretty much going to end the video hopefully this video helps you guys get set up with mobile mining it is a different type of like uh, app and everything it's its own app which is nice and it's something new for mobile mining i haven't came across this coin i haven't seen much talk about it or anything so hopefully you guys can get in and start mining it in case something does pop off with it just like Varus coin recently it doubled in price if not more so hopefully we can build up some bags on this and hopefully it turns out well and if you want a video on how to make one of these and fully set it up like these mobile boxes just let me know but it's pretty simple and if you want a cpu tutorial for uh scala here for xya just let me know as well and i can go ahead and do that to get set up in mining for your cpu so that way you have mobile and cpu up and going but yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as it lets me know you're enjoying my content. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.